Three mistakes that keep a lot of people from buying a home. Does that apply to you? What's going on ladies and gents of Cyberland coming back to you with another educational video and this time we're going to be moving on into um, something I've seen and, and learned over this period and that's uh, the three mistakes at least my three mistakes I've seen people make that keeps them from buying a home so the first thing before we get into that I'm gonna say this your mind is your biggest enemy okay what that means is whatever your mind or whatever you tell your mind can affect everything else how it's gonna play out so keep that in mind you control this don't let this control you some people you know it's just walking but some people need to understand so um, three mistakes people make in to get a home. Well, the first thing is that they don't take the necessary steps, meaning they don't talk to a realtor. They don't look into trying to find a realtor. They just go by what somebody's telling them who's not in the profession. They go by word of mouth or they just go online. These videos I make is to educate and, and give you some information, but at the end of the day, you still need to talk to a realtor. You still need to talk to somebody like me. It doesn't have to be me. It could be somebody else. But you still need to talk to a professional. And somebody who's a professional. Somebody who takes this seriously. I'm not saying you got to wear a suit and tie, but somebody who talks to you, respects you, is trying to educate you, trying to help you get to your end goal. Not all realtors are trying to do that. Not pointing fingers, not making accusations. I'm just saying, not everybody's in it to help people. Some people are in it just to make a quick buck. Then you gotta ask yourself, you, as the person trying to buy a home, is this what you really want? Are you willing to sacrifice? Are you determined? Are you willing to set standards? Meaning, not just uh, expect miracles. Are you willing to do what's necessary for yourself to get the home too? Because it's not just the realtor, it's you too. And it's not just the realtor, it's you, the realtor, and it's your lender. One thing I tell my clients when I refer a lender, I give them a referral to a lender I work with, but I say, hey, just in case, this is who I work with. However, shop around. I don't say that because I don't trust my realtor. Or I'm, I'm sorry, I don't trust my lender or I don't have faith in them because I do. Every lender I work with, I have faith in their abilities. They're wonderful. But I put that out there because I want you, the client, to have options. I want to give you options. You can you don't have to take what I'm saying. You can just go to the lender I referred you. But I want to give you options. You deserve it. You came and talked to me. You didn't have to talk to me. You could have went with somebody else. You came and talked to me. Well this is what you deserve since you came and talked to me. This is what I'm going to give you because you came and talked to me. This is what I'm willing to offer. This is what I'm willing to do to help you. Because you're giving me an opportunity to serve you. It's not the other way around. So that's one thing. The second thing is, after talking to a realtor, people don't take the next step because they're so, and it's it's almost like a, I don't know if it's, it's a, I don't know the right word, but it, it's just people don't want to get pre-qualified. Fear. That's what it is. Fear. People are so afraid of the unknown. And in some, 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 
some places I get it. You know, in some avenues I get it. Everybody's afraid of something. Not everybody can go talk to a guy or girl. Not everybody can go talk to people or apply for that job because they, they always fear the unknown. She's going to say no. He's going to laugh in my face. They're going to decline me. They're not going to hire me. So, we'll say anything with the approval. They're going to say no. What if they say no? They're going to tell you why they're going to say no. Especially your lender. They're going to tell you what the issue is. And they're going to put you on a plan. We're going to put you, me and the lender, are going to put you on a plan to get you on track to make this a reality. I'm just going to slam the door in the face, close the book. Sorry, I can't help you. Next. People who do that, they don't stay in the business very long because they're just showing they don't really give a shit about anybody. Because everybody's got a history. Everybody's got some type of hurdle. Nobody just comes out comes out perfect in every attribute. Everybody's got some type of thing they need to work on. Nobody's perfect. So, that means for you, if they don't approve you, they'll tell you why. And... It's not going to be because you don't make enough money. Most of the time, it's not because you don't make enough money. It's maybe your credit score is not high enough. Maybe you need to do more to get your credit score up, or you got too much debt. These are things you can fix. And you may not be able to buy this home in the next three months, but you can get a home in the next six months. Six months is nothing. A year is nothing. As opposed to five years. As opposed to ten years. Then on top of that, you taking the initiative to find out what's going on, that makes a difference. Most people can never get a home because they won't do this. I kid you not. It's not because people can't afford a home. It's because they never take this initiative. They're so afraid to be told no. So what they say no. Once you do all these things, you're going to say yes. And if they don't say yes, go to somebody else who does. Not all lenders are equal the same. Not all realtors are the same. No business is the same. All businesses have different things. So if this business won't give you a loan, go to the other one. Go to this one. Go to that one. They don't all deny you. That's bullshit. And I don't mean to curse, but I want to get my point across. Because some people like to say... Certain groups of people can't get loans. That's bullshit. Everybody can get a loan. If this place won't give you a loan, go to the next one. If these two places won't give you a loan, go to that one. Go to go somewhere else. Go where some people where people want your business. They want your money. They want to stay in business. They want you as a client. Everybody I work with, I want them as a client. I don't turn them away. And I don't treat them like they're doing me a favor. Or I mean, I'm, I'm doing them a favor. Because they're doing me a favor by hiring me. They could have went with somebody else. Some agents, I've seen it. Once they realize that you don't have very much money, they're not interested in really putting effort into you. I work like that. Now why I got into the business. So, you know, the last thing, and this kind of goes back into the mind thing. Is that they don't think they can. At the end of the day, they don't think they can. Sure. They'll get approved. But they won't be able to afford the house. Sure. They'll get approved. They'll be able to afford the house. But they'll lose it. Sure. They'll get approved. They'll be able to afford a house. But it won't be a good house. Sure. They'll get approved. They'll be able to afford it. But it won't be anything close to what they want. So why bother? 
It's just gonna be a hole in the wall. It ain't gonna be nothing good. A lot of people think like this. And they never, they don't even try to say, what's the point? I'm gonna have to pay this much and I'm gonna have to live in this type of environment. Whatever. I'm not gonna be able to afford it anyway. They're gonna tell me no. Or I won't be able to afford the payments. Forget it. Where there's a will, there's a way. Let's say you can't afford it. You're approved. But it's not in the greatest neighborhood. Okay. Keep looking for other homes. Don't stop because one home is not to your liking. There's plenty of other ones. It's kind of like if, the, if this job won't hire, hire you, another one will. If this girl won't let you take her out or she, she's rejecting you as a mate, there's other women that won't. There could be 99 women that reject her. There's always still that one that won't. The 99 homes you look at don't, don't have your liking, but there's one that does. Present yourself in your mind. It's how you view things. It's a difference. All those things play, play, and play into action. So again, people make a mistake in buying a home because one, they don't go talk to a professional. They think they know everything, or they just watch videos where they go by what somebody else has said who's not in the business. Two, they won't get approved. And three, at the end of the day, they don't think, it's like, why bother? Why do they think anything's going to change for them? And then the other one is, it's not, it, it's kind of mixed in with all three. Outside influence. I think, and I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm going to say it, but I don't want to come up when I say it like that's what I just think wholeheartedly, but my experience is that a lot of people don't want other people to have anything or succeed in life. They don't want people to win at nothing, either because they can't. Or they don't want anybody on their level. Or getting close to where they might be in life. They may not even know the person. They don't care. There's just one less person that's where they're at. That's why I say, go talk and work with people that, are, that have your interests at, at heart. Or are interested in trying to help you. And you'll know right away. And if they're not, go to somebody else. Because there's always going to be somebody that wants your business. That wants to guide you. Wants to help you. People who don't, whatever. Good luck. Hopefully you can stay in the business of what you're doing, doing it with that type of behavior. Because other people, when they keep catching on, they'll start letting other people know about you too. If that's how you treat them. People do talk. So keep that in mind. So with that being said, you guys, if you have any questions, concerns, let me know. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care.